The Council of the Elders met to see how they might rid themselves of Jesus. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. Mm. Well, that's the other thing is like, I they kind of put it out. Y'all like, y'all were actually you know close and like like this situation hurt them or whatever. But uh, I, don't, I mean, it's not that hard to call somebody. I mean, right, right. That's what I'm saying. And now they want to mm. call me a liar and say, oh. He lying about his hair problem. Just like was saying mom. that in this part of the text, they think that Roxanne is talking about Kimberly. Do y'all think that this is who they're talking about? Because we know that according to Mookie and according to the A-team who blasted Shittling Chandler for being a liar and deceiving them. Remember when they was real mad at Kim a month or two ago? They had them took her ranch, demoted her fat ass and all, gave her several seats to sit in. And Roxanne, the man, told that bitch, don't you ever in your motherfucking lie. People to know what's going on behind the scene. So when they told her to lead it, Daryl said he was stepping back from her. But here's I, here's my thing. I'm trying to figure out if y'all say y'all stepping back from her, why would y'all could continue to let her come back on if she says she quit? Then when then when I got like media about it, they really got upset. And I told him knock like out media. I said, I don't have an issue with this man. I said, this man ain't did nothing to me. I said y'all the one got a fucking issue with your love about there. But that's his platform. He's a grown man. That's his right. So you can't get mad about that shit. Right. So next thing you know, they start. Let me go back. Y'all was talking about the latest court. I mean, the last court tripping. Said the last court doc was filed on. And y'all was saying how Larry Loyal was attend to this stuff. And she said, Roxanne, I don't care what they say, stay out of it. And she was like, I won't. Now we still going down. And then he said, he's stupid. He just asked him, he just asked, wait a minute, asked him if he emailed someone. No, cause y'all painted me a bad. Y'all painted y'all painted the pictures like I'm real bad. All in the message, they were talking about Daryl calling him stupid because he emailed, I think, one of Larry's assistants to try to get him on his side. Someone that Larry knew. Pray that you may not enter into temptation.
Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you do not fall into temptation. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? I wanted to talk about the Mookie situation here, um, about how, you know, he's on the Internet acting and carrying on on the Internet. I totally disagree. I totally disagree. But I do understand when someone get upset and mad and, and you know, the things they do after they get upset and mad with someone. Um. I think the A team was absolutely um, right about going, you know, edit with Mookie about the, you know, about him allegedly scamming them. I think he they did go about it the right way because, you know, if if I if I'm online and I'm donating to someone, I'll be like hysterical, you know, like oh my god, is he really a scammer or is he using his illness to? Scam us, and I'll be like, "Oh my God, let me aware people of this guy or whatever." But uh, I saw what Mookie did apologize. He apologized to the A team, but everybody keeps saying, "What is he apologizing for?" If he didn't scam them, that was my question too. And I do actually believe there it was something that did go wrong. And from all the evidence that I've have seen uh, so far with the A team, uh, I think it something did go wrong. And I do think there was some lies that was told, but as far as his uh, illness or the G-tube, I did talk to a nurse and we do have nurses in the family. Um, they was talking about the G-tube saying you could take it off and it, it's, it really is not a big deal. You can take it off yourself, clean it, put a new one on. So, you know, like I was saying was, you know, I'm sorry about that, um, that I totally disagree with the behavior of Monkey. I really do. Hold on one second, guys. The reason why I believe he went to CTV because he knew that Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. Yep, I'm here. I'm totally here. I'm here. No, I was doing something. I'm sorry. So, like I was saying was that I believe... Okay. So, I do believe that the reason why he went to CTV and um, not got media deal because he knew that that will hurt them. Okay. 
Um, I do believe, you know, a team story. I, I really do. I, I do believe their story. Um, I'm not saying he's a scammer, but from the information that was given, it was like somebody was lying, but he did apologize for something. He did do that. And I know there are some people that, that are online that do scam people, use their illness to scam people and to, to have them to feel sorry for them. And I know people do that. I know people, it becomes a crutch to them. Their illness or their uh, disability becomes a crutch. I don't know if uh, Monkey received disability or anything like that, but you don't supposed to be online like this if you are receiving disability. You know, you don't supposed to be online trying to scam anybody out of money or trying to, you know, stuff like that, you know. So I believe he was so hurt about the situation or, you know, he was so embarrassed by the situation. He don't start exposing text messages, personal text messages that were between him and the A team or other people that was close to Daryl. You know, which I feel like that was hurtful because I know he probably got text messages, too, that he probably sent to them, but they haven't exposed it yet. The only thing they were trying to expose and trying to see was he's was he scamming them. That's what they was. That's what they were mainly focused on, because they poured out their hearts and their cash to try to help him. And I think they did. I think they was doing. I'm telling you, I was there at times on his live where they was pouring out money to him and. And stuff like that, showing him so much love, and it hurt them to it hurt them to see him just, you know, try to scam them. I mean, I don't think the information that CTV got from. Uh, from Mookie really hurt the A-team, but I just, you know, this just goes to show you how people's heart is from the jump. This just goes to show you, it just uncovered some things in this season about people's hearts. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm not going to expose no text message, messages. I've been in places where I've been betrayed before. I've been hurt. I've been talked about you know, by someone you feel like that is close to you. But I didn't go to a point where I'm exposing the whole text messages. I'm online exposing this and that, you know, because if you really care for somebody, you don't do somebody like that. You, you just really don't. I'm just going to be honest. You don't you don't go to that list. I'm just saying you just don't. You, you know, like I said, I've been close to Pete. I've been close to someone that had betrayed me, you know, and 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 try to do me wrong. But I loved them so much that I didn't even expose their nakedness or I didn't go out and, you know, and show text messages or private conversations we both had. Because there's a time in life that, you, you know, you may be friends with somebody and not saying y'all gonna always be friends. Maybe temptation may come. Maybe something may happen. You know, so I, that that's just me. I always look at it like that. I always look at it that way. Temptation is, you know, is here. Temptation is here. You know, so, I mean, like I said, I've been betrayed. I've been, you know, scammed before, you know, by somebody I felt like, you know, hey, we were close or whatever, you know. So I know the feeling that 18 were like, hey, you know, wait a minute now. You know, we pouring out our heart and money to this guy. And then now we, we don't really know what's really going on. Is he sick or is he not sick? Or do we have a blood clock or don't? You know what I mean? So I don't feel like they are the type of people that just go around talking about people that are disabled. I just don't believe it. So, you know, they taking this situation, they running with it in his heart. He's so angry. He's so upset. You know, some people just be too proud to admit that they was wrong. They be too prideful. And then they just go out and try to sabotage other people to make them look good and stuff like that. That's what I see. You know, him trying to sabotage the reputation of the A-team to try to make himself look good. And I'm just being honest, Mookie. I don't know if you listen to this or not, but that's the way it seems to me. I think it's just really going too far. All they want to know, what kind of friend are you? Now they know what type of friend you are. Because now you don't went to the limits of really, really trying to expose, you know, some things. And that's the way I see it. 
Well, the text messages was actually uh, those was not really personal text messages. The text message that the A team had gotten from him was from somebody else, supposed to be from somebody else, supposed to be from him. And they was getting mixed messages. You know, when you're getting scammed like that, you want to know what's going on. Is this person a true friend or not? You know, is this person true to us? They, they was the one helping him. He wasn't helping them. He would. They was helping him. Let me see what it says. Okay, it says, but isn't that what the 18 did to Mookie? Is supposed to, but not really, not necessarily, because if they are being scammed and you know and stuff, they have every right to post it. But I don't think they post any personal text messages before then. I don't see them posting anything like that. I don't see them posting nothing like that. You see what I'm saying? So I think it's pride involved and he's going he's on a rampage. He's just on a rampage trying to hurt them by using CTV and knockout media, which they are their enemies. And and it's that's hurtful. That is that's like going too far and beyond. If you didn't scam anybody, you know, let them know what's going on because these we are on the internet. I'm not friends with nobody on the internet, okay? I have a couple of people that are on YouTube that I do know that follow me for years, but I don't have any friends on YouTube and I'm not going to just pour my heart and my money out to someone like that and all this and that. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to be honest, but I do understand how the 18 feel. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know what his intentions. Well, I kind of think his intentions of exposing the text message to break them, to hurt them and to break the 18 up. That's the way I see it. So you said, but if someone has dirt on you, you don't kick them and stop them. Well, I well, literally, it was Mookie that got the dirt, supposedly have the dirt on 18. I don't see any dirt that the 18 exposed on Mookie, period. I don't see it. I'm just gonna be honest. Mookie has the T. Mookie has the, the information that was done in private that was concerning a case and then Mookie know that this is, don't have anything to just do with a case and I don't I don't see why. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, I don't see where they mismanaged it at because if they try to reach out to Mookie several times and he didn't never reach out, I mean, I mean, that, I mean, you get scammed by somebody that you thought that, you know, okay, you can confide in or you can, you know, Come on now, really? We online. This is online. This is, I mean, come on, really? Like, really? I'd be like, wait a minute, what's going on? Are you scamming me or what's going on with this? Are you lying to me? And I know some people do lie. People do lie. And they use their illness to, to get money, you know? So, and I know that. Well, I'm just, I was just saying, uh, let me see this transcript. But I'm just saying, like, Y'all, is these are two totally different situations. You see what I'm saying? Like the case and the, the inbox, private inbox messages you guys were talking about when it concerning Larry Reed or whatever. That was private. That was something done in private, you know, that you guys trusted him with, you know. So now he goes off and try to go to the A-team or to knock out media to try to hurt the A-team. You see what I'm saying? That was that was not right. Darren Moore, Darren but he Moore. did expose where Darren Moore. What was that? He did expose Darren Moore. What that means? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I I know that he don't have any more information that I know of. Um, him, I don't know. I don't see anything that was. I just I just feel like the whole situation. Okay, you say. It never looks good to kick the underdog. Yeah, Mookie, Mookie was actually wrong. And I do feel like he was wrong in the whole situation because if and I'm telling you, if I'm somebody online and I'm trying to help this person, they trying to claim they sick and they 
they this and that. I'm doing all I can do. Then I heard somebody's supposed to have been giving him a large a lot amount of money and stuff. And and I and you know I understand Marcellus was upset and I and I feel him. You know I feel him on that. And he never responded. He never tried to talk to him or anything. I you know like I said I got nurses in my family. They did talk about the G tube. They say you can take it off. You can change it yourself. It's no big deal. You know, they was telling me it's just really ain't no big deal. And it's something um, it was explaining to me more about you eating and stuff like that. You can eat if he's eating or something. It's not that serious or something they was trying to tell me. But we didn't get all into it. I wanted them to come on live to talk about the G2. But they said they had something else to do. But I'll talk to them, talk to them more about it. But that's not the issue. I just know that. When somebody is ill like that and real sick, they receive disability, you know, so I'm just trying to figure it out like, you know, he said that handy. Yeah, there are people that do use their illness and some people don't be as sick like that. Don't some people just, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, I don't know if the man received disability or not. I don't know. But and I haven't heard. But if you were receiving disability, you out here you know, online cash app and all this stuff, you know, that's not good. That That's not good at all. You know, and I mean, and I don't think he, I don't think he's slow at all because I mean, I just think right now he's being manipulative, very manipulative. That's not nobody that I feel like that is disabled, uh, that is mentally ill because his actions shows that he's not mentally ill. It shows that he's, um, in my opinion, that he's very prideful, and I think he should have went to the A team before he went to CTV. Because I don't know why he's running over there. Because CTV and uh, Knockout Media is not going to help him with nothing. They love this. They love every bit of what he's doing. If he's trying to do it for a uh, thousand K or whatever he was trying to do it for, I mean that's not the way. It says I am first. Mookie wasn't in that chat. Someone gave that to him. He is being used and wants to be used. Well, I mean, you know, he's thirsty. He's thirsty for likes. He's thirsty for attention. He's thirsty for it. That's how you can tell that something ain't right. You know, maybe he did try to scam the A team. You know, from what I, I mean, something just ain't right. You see what I'm saying? Because if I try to do something, I'm gonna admit to it offline. We can talk online, but you have every right to expose someone that's trying to allegedly scam you. So I'm just saying, I, you know, when I saw it, I wasn't really shocked about the whole situation. I'm just going to be honest because something happened in the past and where, you know, I seen some things in the spirit. I wanted to talk to you guys about it before it happened, but I just didn't want to get out there. And, then, you know, some people like, nah, nah, she ain't. OK, so I just want you guys to see it for yourself. You know, because I had already saw it and I wanted to inbox Daryl before all of this happened. But I didn't know how to approach him, you know, in a spiritual manner. So I just left it like that. You know, I think I sent him a couple messages or whatever, but I just left it as that scriptures or something I sent him. I, I can't remember. I don't know if I did or then or whatever. But I just remember, you know, trying to reach out to him in a spiritual manner. I know. Right. It's, I know. Right. I know. Right. <laughs> You said it ain't allegedly. So I'm just saying, like, for real, I mean, the behavior of Mookie is really, it's like out of hand. I don't know if he's doing it for likes or views or whatever. Now, you know, more power to him. Go ahead, you know, do what you got to do, you know, because, I mean, because the whole situation, it just doesn't look good at all, period. I'm just saying I can't have nobody in my circle around me that has a Judas type spirit. I'm just going to be honest. I can't have you around me. If I sense that you have a Judas spirit, I cannot have you around me or in my circle. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. He got his one K, you know, to his, uh, his YouTube. I'm not all hyped up with that one K or trying to get subscribers and stuff. I'm not hyped up about it. You know, like when I get on here, I try to, you know, just send a message out, try to help people, whatever. I post a lot of pastors on my page. This page is basically, you know, just to, you know, for pastors and stuff like that. You know, it really is not for drama. 
So that's why I, you, you know, take some of their videos and post it on my channel. You know, so. Okay, so what did you see that you wanted to tell us? Oh, no, 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 no. There was a, something personal. There was something personal that I had to tell Daryl. You see what I'm saying? But I had wanted to say it in one of my videos. I don't know if you guys listen. You did listen to it, but you probably missed that part. Because I had said I had wanted to tell you guys somebody to blow the whole internet up. But, you know, like I say, you know, it, you know, it's being exposed it's, and more is going to be exposed. You know, so, I mean, we have to guard our heart. OK, that's what I'm going to tell you guys. We have to guard our heart because if we don't guard our heart, we're going to be in the same situation Mookie is in. He's he's in a place right now that his heart is not guarded. And his heart is full of pride right now. And whatever he has or whatever you have said to him in the past, he's going to try to expose it because his heart is full of pride right now. You know, and I'm not going to look at no disability because I've never seen him as a disability person. I just see him as somebody that used to be well and something happened over time. But I don't never I never looked at him as that, you know, so. Yeah, he mainly got uh, CTV probably subscribers. Yeah, he probably got CTV subscribers, but that's not even let him have his 1K, let him have his life, let him live his life, let him try to try his best to get monetized, you know, but I feel like his heart is is really not in the right place right now. Then he's trying to make people feel sorry for him because he keeps showing his little tag G2 thing on his page. And I feel like he shouldn't be. I mean, come on, if you try to scam somebody. You need to like he did say he apologized. So if you try to scam somebody, you just need to apologize and you need to really talk to them first before you go exposing text messages and uh, people underwears and draws and bras. And he goes on talking about Daryl Moore, Daryl Moore private life with some other woman like they're going to make us be like, ooh, you know. There are a lot of people that do share text, sex texting pictures and stuff. And that's not nothing new. These people are older people. These are older people that do a grown folk stuff. You know, that's all I see. I don't see it. Well, ooh, they got something on Daryl. You know, I, I, I mean, it really did. It. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, it, it's just like if he knew y'all bank account, he exposed it. OK, so that's why you guys got to guard your heart. I don't care if me and let me see your transcript get into it. I'm not going to expose text messages and stuff that we spoken to each other in private because we had a disagreement because she caught me in my mess. I'm not going to do that. That is called pride. OK, that's called pride. And pride comes before a fall. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to excuse nobody's behavior because it don't seem like he has a mental illness or the way he's carrying on with the situation. So there are some things that happen. I, I didn't say anything about it. I just let it happen. And and I moved on with my YouTube channel. You know, you just people just have to guard their heart. What bank account? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, if he knew it, if he knew any of you guys information like that, he exposed that, too. You know, I'm just trying to figure out what you need to go into CTV them for, for what? Unless it was just a scam of him just to get one subscribers or try to, he know he knows exactly what they want. He knows how to get to CTV them. Okay. That'd be the same for me. What if it was me? I knew, I know how to get on their side. You got to talk about the people they hate. That's how you get on their side. You got to talk about the people they hate. Okay. With a passion. So, I mean, come on now, really? I mean, he knows how to play the game. He knows how to play this game. And he's playing it. He played it up to 1K. So, I mean, I'm I'm not going to... Um, that's only over a year and a half ago. Oh, okay. He said, okay. He said, okay, I will email... Okay, let's, let me see the transcript. Okay. No, he did. No, I didn't see that, uh, Kim. He didn't apologize to them offline first, right? I just saw it on his page. Exactly. The enemy or my enemy is my friend. I mean, I understand what you're saying. I am human first. 
I do understand what you're saying. But people have to guard their hearts when situations like this happen. They have to guard their hearts. And and I just see it doesn't matter. They was hurt. I mean, you trying to scam somebody. You can't tell nobody if you're in the hospital or not. Then you sending them two different pictures and stuff like that. They kind of like, you got to understand these people. Come on. And these people were take it, not just taking care of him, but they was, you know, giving offerings, you know, you know, helping him in a financial way. You see what I'm saying? Sending their money. They could have took and, you know, and kept it to themselves, you know. So I'm just saying I just wouldn't do nobody like that. I just that just me. You know what I mean? We hurt. We we I mean, we mad at each other and stuff. But let's take it to that length or to the point of you pissed off at some people that was helping you. I'm just I'm just. And then let me see. The apology online was. Yeah, I saw that apology online, but he still. You listen, you can't apologize to somebody online, then go back and try to talk about them some more. That's not a real apology. That's 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 I sense evil in the air. I sense some evil in the air. OK, so I don't know if he's doing it for likes. I don't know, you know, because sometimes people do, you know, conjure up stuff like that so they can get likes and views. If you're doing it for that, Mookie, more power to you. OK, I'm just coming. And, you know, maybe something else going on in the background. I don't know. Mookie called us out. Our name. Yeah, Mookie been really, really talking some trash. Really been talking some mad cash trash. And, I mean, he's still talking to the people that, that disgraced him all over the Internet. Disgraced him all over the Internet. Disgraced him all over the Internet. And they was talking about his disability. They dragged him all over the internet. And I felt kind of bad for that situation right there that was happening. You know, I did really did. I'm like, they dragged him, but he over there because he's trying to find a place to hide. That's what he's trying to find. He's trying to find somebody that can okay with his mess. But he's wrong. Mookie, you are wrong. You allow your heart I mean, just look at it, you guys. Look at his heart. His heart, I mean, when he go back on live, y'all, he going to do it again. His heart is going to be, oh, my God. I'm telling you guys, y'all just look at this situation, what's going on with Mookie, and just just look at it and just guard your heart because you your best friend may betray you. You got to guard your heart. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Guard your hearts. Cause this what happens. This is what happens. Okay, where do you think Monkey was going to eventually go over there? Uh, lots of time, even after the apology behind the scenes. Yes. Listen, first of all, I don't know where Monkey came from. I don't know how long um, Marcellus or Daryl Moore been knowing Monkey. I don't know. But um, it just seemed like he was just, you know, trying to get his YouTube up and stuff and, you know, trying to get his, you know, views and, you know, all his subscribers and stuff. You know, I I just invited him on a couple of times, you know, because I felt like he was married or whatever. He can give his advice or whatever. But I, I didn't have no intentions of getting close to him in any type of way. You know, we can do the social media thing. We can talk and chat, you know, through the inbox or whatever. You know, we can ya guy, ha ha. But I, I didn't never, I had no intentions of getting close to him to the point where I'm sending money to him or anything like that. I know I saw that. Mm hmm. Exactly. Y'all was just defending. You're right. Exactly. Exactly. Y'all was just defending yourselves. And all he had to do is just come out clean. Then y'all know how pride worked. Then knock out media coming out. They were, were talking about, oh, they hurt your feelings and stuff. He found that opportunity. Okay. Everybody keeps saying they're going to hit the cash out. He loves that. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. You know, I mean, I don't play around with people on the Internet. I don't play around like that. You don't do people like that. And I don't think this, like, this is a game at all when you play around with people money. 
and stuff. You just don't do people like that. Like I said, I, I never looked at him as dis disabled. I just always thought it was just something happened. You know how somebody, you know, just kind of like be in a car accident or something and, you know, they be well, then all of a sudden they in a car accident and get hurt or something like that. I ain't never, you know, see him as just born disabled or anything like that. I, I don't I don't look at him like that. You know, he got plenty of sense if he can go over there and sit and have tea and eat in the presence of his enemies. So he got plenty of sense. You know, if he can cuss out of one side of his mouth and then preach out of there, he got plenty of sense. This man has plenty of sense. You know, and I think you guys are good to him and was good to him. And I really do. I think you guys were very good to him. And I think he should really stop the rampaging and find something else to talk about. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm just sitting here like looking at him just talk and talk and talk and talk. And, you know, and stuff. It says it was the monkey. I was, uh, I think because he already had a high subscriber account, he was a valuable person to bring aboard for a bad call. I'm fine. Monkey, I feel he just needs to go to, needs to go be blessed. It says people are plant. Uh, okay. Exactly. Exactly. Like I said, I, I mean, I would have been like that, too, you know, because I, I don't know how big uh, Mad Church Z pocket, pocket, pockets are from the way he talked. Like he got some money, you know, so I'm just saying I'd be like, wait a minute now. You messing with my money now. You messing with my money, you know, so I, I mean, it would scare anybody. It would scare anybody. I would be like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, so I mean, all of that that's going on. I'm so sorry you guys are going through that. Um, I can't apologize for Mookie's behavior. Mookie has to apologize for his own behavior. Um, I mean, it just, I just see what I see. And I can't sugarcoat it because he claims he has a disability. I can't do that because he has plenty of sense. He has plenty of sense. Mm, you know, I'm just saying he has plenty of sense. You know, and, and Mookie should have done that. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out. Like, I mean, did you do it or didn't? Let me put that up there. Yeah. So, you guys, just guard your heart. Please guard your heart because guard your heart. You know, because there's some Judas out there and they don't care anything about you. Period. This is a Sunday message. <laughs> this is the message for Sunday. Exactly. You know, I knew y'all had more text messages on him. But, you know, you guys decided not to even put it out there, you know, more out there. But he continues to just go on and go on and go on, you know, and stuff. I mean, just apologize to them publicly and move on because that's going to hurt him in the end. And I see it coming. I mean, it, I mean, I just I can't do that. I don't care how much people talk about me behind my back. I can't do that. You know. You know, if you've been a friend to me, if you've been. You know, I, I, you know, like I said, I've been betrayed before you guys. And I'm telling you, it's not a good feeling, but you just have to learn to guard your heart. You got to learn to guard your heart. You just got to learn. I've been betrayed before. Guard your heart. I mean, don't give him no space in your head. <laughs> you know, so. His highest subscriber count was due to the AT. Exactly. Exactly. You guys did. You guys was like rooting for him. You guys was going in for him. You know. I know that was old. I know those text messages was old. I already knew that. I never seen them before, but you can read and can tell how old they were. Those was like past text messages. That's why you guys, the 18, especially the 18 and Daryl Moore, especially. That's why you had to be very careful who you share important information with. Be very not saying that the information you guys, you know, was, you know, out there. But I'm just saying, just be very careful who you allow in your circle. 
if you guys going to continue to be the A-team, if Darren Moore going to continue to, you know, fight for justice and do other things behind the scenes, he needs to be very careful of who, you know, he allow his circle, you know, because this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm talking about, it, it went on for like two hours. You know, we always listen to him. He could be on for four hours. We sit there and listen to him all night long, you know? So, I mean, I guess, you know, he just, it just, the, you got, you see it, you guys. I mean, you guys see the pride in it. You guys see it. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Exactly. I'm going to put that right there. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. To us, it's right. It's high subscriber count. I think Mookie was already like at 700K, but again, no, he was, no, Mookie, Mookie was at 800. I think Mookie was at 800. I think Mookie was already at 800. That's what I think. Uh huh. Yeah. But, you know, if it was for that, more power to them. You know, people do anything to get what they want. They will step on people to get where they need to be in life. So I'm telling you guys, make sure you guard your heart. If you help somebody, help somebody out of the kindness of your heart, you know, and and try not to do it for any evil intentions, you know, because some, you know, with this situation right here, what I see, you know, with Mookie, there's some evil intentions going on here. And I, I, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, you know, he just keep going on and on and on and on. Exactly. He was at 859. Exactly, Moon. I meant Mad Church Z. Exactly. He was. He was at 800 and something. So they didn't help him, but what, what, with 200 and something. But okay, that's good. He, he's at 1K now. You know, he's at 1K. But I just don't like the whole situation that's going on, though. Like, you know, I mean, it's just crazy what people do to get subscribers and likes and stuff and cash out. You know, I have a cash out, too. OK, and I barely put it down at the bottom. I barely put it at the bottom sometimes. I have a little ticker, but I barely put it there. You know, so. It, it's amazing what people do on YouTube. It's amazing. Like. Yeah, you have to know how to build it. You're right. You're right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on here with uh, Mookie. You know, I don't know what he's going to come up with with again, another live about the A team or whatever, you know, but he's pretty, he's, 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 he's upset. He's embarrassed. He's angry. You know, and I see that he's angry. He's real angry, you know, Okay, his subscribers are due to the A team. I watched his subscriber list. Um, exactly, it is. I know that. Yeah, I see that. I mean, I, I went to his community channel. You know, I saw the stuff going on Then He posted the G2 thing on there or whatever. You know, and I'm like, okay. You know, what he was trying to say, you know, what he was trying to prove, I didn't understand what he was trying to prove. You know, I think you guys already knew about the YouTube. I don't know, but um, let me. Okay, but I don't like. I said I don't know what he was trying to prove, but all I saw you guys was trying to say that he was, you know, he, something. He's lying about something. You know, that's what I kept, you know, hearing you guys saying he's lying about something. Why he want to lie to us like that? You know. And some people do use their, their illness, their disability to scam people. 
and to make people feel sorry for them all the time. And I and I trust me, I'm black just like you guys, so I see it a lot. You know, it's like a crutch or something like that. You know, even women that have been abused, you know, have this batter woman syndrome or something. They always want people to feel sorry for them, a victim mentality or something like that. You know, so I did understand what Marcel was trying to say, though. Okay. Okay, let me read this right here. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, but see, you know, one thing too, he mentioned something about his wife. He was like, Mad Church of Seed told my wife to go up there. He was like, What he doing telling my wife, you know, and stuff like that? Come on now, uh, Monkey. These people care about you. These people care about you. And when you do have a wife, and we do know this, your wife will leave her job to attend to her husband. And we do know that. Not no wife that I know that will be at work while their husbands are in the hospital. I'm just saying. I'm just make I'm just giving you logic with that. No wife. So Mookie was right about that. Mookie was absolutely right. Okay, let me put this on here. Okay. Hold on, Mookie. Okay, you see it? Is it up there? You got it? Because the comments keep coming fast and stuff, so I'm like, I don't know how to slow the mode down. And then I'm looking on StreamYard, trying to reach you guys' comments and stuff. I dropped the link, you know. But, yeah, like I was saying, the link is in the comments, you guys. I think I need to put it to the top. Okay. The link is at the top. So like I was saying was, you know, I do feel like uh, Mad Church Z was right about calling Mookie's wife and telling her to go to the hospital to tend to her husband. You know, to, yes. So, you know, I do feel like that was right. And he wanted to know why was she not there? That was correct. You know, so I, I understand. OK, you hear I am here. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to clear up so many things, but first of all, thank you for dropping the link and having me uh, come on here really quick. There's a lot of confusion behind this situation and other people are trying to use it to, I guess, come after uh, us and sort of, uh, I guess, embarrass us, but we're not embarrassed by it at all. Um, you know, our to our best of intention was to help Mookie. So we don't really feel bad about anybody sharing any text messages behind the scenes or whatever, whatever. Um, because like I have said to everybody in social media for quite some time, if the A-team has any issues, we work those issues out behind the scenes. We don't hash those issues out in public. You will never catch us on YouTube cursing one another out and, and acting a fool. We just don't do that. Um, so that's just not something that we will do. Um, so uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. Now, let me just clear up the part about Mookie's wife. Um, number one, Mookie told us several times, uh, well, he told us several different versions of this story. Um, in the beginning, it was his wife had his phone because he was in surgery. Uh, he had all of these physical ailments. Uh, we ran down all the physical ailments that he claimed that he had. Um, and we were trying to work with Mookie for, I don't know, almost a week to just to get him to admit he, you know, he was wrong. And then he came out with an apology video, but really didn't apologize to us. Um, because at the same time he was coming out with an apology video, he was cussing all the women out. Now he has yet to speak to me. He has yet to speak to Daryl. Uh, but he was texting all the women, I mean, calling them all kinds of names that I won't even repeat here. Um, and that's just a fact of the matter. 
And so we just got really, you know, we just got really sick of it. And we tried to give him an opportunity to correct his behavior. And it, I just got to the point to where I was like, I'm done. Um, I only helped Mookie because Daryl asked me to help Mookie. Um, you know, if you, if you, people think that Mookie, and I'm not saying that he doesn't have the ability, you all can think whatever you want. Um, but if you, if people think that Mookie has the ability to create uh, a great channel and create great content and so forth and be able to do that all on his own without the help of others, then that's fine. You guys hang on to that. Uh, but I'm here to tell you Mookie needs help to get it done. And he needs people that are really going to care for him and not use him. Um, and, you know, it just got to the point to where I just didn't want to be bothered with Mookie. I got upset with Mookie when Mookie started calling these women all out of their name and he got nasty with it. Um, he got very nasty with it. And he never said anything to me and Daryl that was rude, uh, except for the, you know, I mean, calling us names and stuff to the women because he would text the women and call us all kinds of names to them. But, you know, and I'm OK with it. I want everybody to hear me and hear me very well. I'm OK if Mookie gets monetized, if Mookie continues to grow his channel. Congratulations, Mookie. God bless you. I wish you I wish you nothing but the best because we did our very best for you. And uh, I never. Well, let me just tell you all this. That entire story about Mookie's wife is a lie. Mookie had his phone the entire time. His wife never had his phone. His wife never had to leave her job. Um, that is a lie. Uh, we have clearly been able to prove that Mookie has lied about that. Um, he spoke with Uncle Fred. Um, Uncle Fred talked to him on the phone. I was listening in on that conversation. He lied to Uncle Fred, and he has continued to lie. And I'm okay. I'm okay. Like I said, Mookie, all Mookie needs to do is go his way and be blessed. I'm not even mad for with him going over to those other people because that's what people do. They get mad with us. They don't like us no more. And then they think that they've got some sort of camaraderie by going over there to these other people. And they're using Mookie. They're making fun of him at the same time. You know, and, exactly. I do agree with that. You know, and it's just really sad. And I'm just it is what it is. Uh, I'm not mad at Mookie. I just I, I, I'm over it. When I tell y'all I'm over it, <laughs> I really am. That's the only reason why I came over here and I'm talking to you is because I want him to know. I want them to know we're not mad. We are not upset. I'm not even upset about those text messages. And here's why I'm not. I'm not upset about those text messages because you're trying to dive into conversations that we're having. We're not going and looking for conversations that you're having. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. No, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was. I no, no. It wasn't someone else who had Mookie's phone, and we know that for a fact. Uh, there were. We, there's definite ways for us to tell that it that it was Mookie. Um, Mookie had his phone. Mookie had his phone the entire time. Mookie went to the emergency room because I made him go to the emergency room because I told him I did not believe he was in no hospital, which of course I was correct, and. He went to the ER and he started uh, his his hospital stay at the ER. We, we now one thing we did do is we did speak to the nurse, um, the nurse that was on duty. I gave him the name of the nurse and told him what the darn na na name of the nurse. Now, she didn't give us any of his private health stuff. So all of these people talking about, uh, you know. Uh, we broke HIPAA laws and all that kind of stuff. They don't know what they're talking about. We do have nurses uh, that are on uh, moderators and stuff with us over here at the A team. So we know. We know wait, about the. I, wait a minute. Hold, hold on one second, Marcella. Mm -hmm. You remember you guys said something about he was like, the hospital won't let you know or something like that about if he was there or not. Some that is was saying. That is incorrect. Uh, Mookie. Yeah, said, it is that's because <laughs> this I know now. Well, I'm in Georgia, but here in Georgia, they would ask you, do you want anybody to know that you're here or not? That's what they'll ask you when you right. go to the hospital. You either say yes or no. <laughs> you know, so right. they will tell you somebody in the hospital or not. I'm just right. going to be honest. Only if the patient, you know, give, give that permission. 
Right. And and here's the thing. I recognize that Mookie might have had some health challenges in his youth. And I'm not denying that. And if you guys go back and you listen to the videos that we made, none of us denied that. None of us said that there was not a possibility for Mookie to have been sick. What we did tell you is that Mookie did not have pneumonia. Mookie did not have a blood clot on his pneumonia. Mookie did not have uh, COVID-19. Uh, Mookie did not have all of these other ailments that he was claiming, sick of cell. Uh, oh, my goodness. So many things. He said that he had brain swelling on his brain and he had to have surgery to remove the swelling on his brain. These are all things that Mookie sent to us and told us that this was going on. When I spoke mm -hmm. with Mookie on the telephone, Mookie was still hanging on to these stories. And I said, Mookie, we're not going for this. Um, uh, uh, you know, it, it's, it, we're not going for it. You just need to come clean. His idea of telling us he apologized was making that video, which he did not apologize because this is how you apologize for those that want to know. This is how you apologize. You say you're sorry, but you say what you're sorry for about doing or, or for doing what? See, my mother taught me and my sister, if I come to you and I say, I'm sorry, I, I don't just get to give you a blanket, I'm sorry. I get to tell you I'm sorry for doing what? Oh, I'm sorry exactly. for kicking you. I'm sorry exactly. for lying about this, or I'm sorry for doing this or that. Mookie never has admitted what he has done wrong, and that is part of the problem, you know. Uh, and and as far as I'm concerned, I want Mookie to grow. I want him to do well. Uh, I'm uh, we're just moving on. That's just not something that we want to be a part of. And we're moving on uh, as a team. We need other things. We have other content that we want to create. Uh, we have other things as a team that we want to do and we don't exactly. want to, you know, we just don't want to be out here continuing to fool with people um, who, you know, are high, you know, conflict uh, entrepreneurs, because that's my new name for these people. They are high conflict entrepreneurs. The only way that they think that they can make money is they have to conflict or are always be in confliction with other people. Um, so, you know, we're just done with that. So I just say, God bless him. Uh, he can do well. I know he'll do well. Um, I just wish that, you know, everybody would learn that just because you don't like us doesn't necessarily mean you need to align yourself with people who don't mean you any good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is this knockout media in my, in my line? I thought I blocked you. Um, speak, uh, what is it? Speak your truth. I mean, Roxanne, could you block knockout media? I thought I blocked him. And and he is he is he's one of these people who have come on on the Internet. I thought I blocked him. And his whole sole mm -hmm. purpose is to just argue, go back and forth with people um, mm -hmm. and to just argue. And it's kind of it's it's really sickening. It's very sick. And he keep and he keeps saying that's not him coming in some people's live. That's what he's saying. That's not him. That's what he keeps saying. But I think he was on his live talking about me and sensitive about my uh situation that I was talking about on my live one time. Well, they, they've been talking about all of us. And I think I mentioned to you yeah, one day when so they put, I mean <laughs> when they put your head on something and mine on another. And I told yeah, you I, I, <laughs> YouTube had sent it down the timeline. I was like, oh my God. Well, the thing about that is that you're you're doing a good job. We're doing a good job. And they're very yeah. upset about that. And he doesn't have any content. That's why he goes to everybody else's platform trying to steal right. their content and do what he does. You know, and right. it, it is what it is. You know. Exactly. Yeah, I thought I had blocked him. I don't know how he got in my comments. Or maybe it's somebody else's page. I don't know. But I blocked him. Because he just kept, I mean, he's just so annoying. I'm just getting so annoyed. Like he just kept saying, "Talk about Dara." Talk about Dara. I was like, "Wait a minute! I I don't have time for that." Right, but I don't that understand why crazy. people want to focus on Daryl. Daryl, you know, I you know, we've worked as a team uh, for this uh, short period of time that we've been together, and we've just decided that this is just something that you know, as grown adults, uh, we can we know how to make content. We've been doing it for quite some time. And, you know, it's not something that we need to continue on. So he's going to go to all of these different channels. He's going to do everything that he does, trying to, you know, build up a name for himself, which is not going to work. It's not going to work because, first of all, uh, people can see straight through him. 
Um, they really can. They see through him and he thinks they don't. And all of the people mm -hmm. that are following him are just the people who have always been following all of those other folks. Um, exactly. And doing, you know, so doing what they do. Mm -hmm. So I, I just wish them all well. Uh, mm -hmm. Let them all do whatever they want to do. But you're not going to you don't disturb me. You don't disturb my peace. Um, mm -hmm. You're never going to be able to do that. And uh, that's the end of that. So if you have any questions for me, I'd, I'd love to. Oh, answer. no, I don't. I mean, you don't answer everything. Okay, you know, good. like I said, you did. You did. Y'all. I mean, y'all did a great thing for him. And I just think that right now what I see is he's built up in pride right now. And you and he haven't even said what he did wrong. He just said he'll apologize. You know, right. so I'm listening. I'm trying my best to listen to everything, you know. Well, and I'll just say this on. publicly and I'll have to say this on our on our Friday night live for him. If, which I don't believe, but if, and I, I think I, the evidence proves it, it's, it's, the, it's the case, but we'll just say for the sake of an apology, if Mookie feels that I disrespected his wife, I apologize for that. Um, exactly. I, I just know that if my spouse, if she was in the ICU and and she was hanging on and, and going into surgery and about to, right. you know, in the intensive care unit. I don't think I would have been at my job uh, working. I think that I would have been tending to the needs of my spouse. Um, right. I, I, I found it very strange that by the time they got to me, that they, you know, because the moderators had been talking to Mookie, I think, for a day or so before I even got to him. Um, and I said, well, if his wife, if he's in intensive care, what's she doing there? I mean, you know, what's she doing at work? Why isn't she by her husband's side? And then, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's just how you, I feel. You, you, you are right. Any, any wife or husband would feel the same. I mean, because they do have FMLA or something with family medical active yeah. or something FMLA. like that. FMLA. FMLA. Yeah. So, uh -huh. I mean, uh, they, they would not hold nobody at their job if their spouse is hurt or going into surgery or anything like that. They right. would not do that. And you notice that Mookie is always saying, my wife feels this way. My wife feels this way. You never hear her say that. Now, she's been on live. Uh, now, for us as a team, we haven't seen her for months. Um, we haven't seen her. Um, you know, And we're just like, well, Mookie, where is your wife? Um, when we try to reach out to her, Mookie responds. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, which is really weird. It's like, okay, well, she has her own Facebook account. She's got her own messages, but he's the one mm -hmm. who's always responding. So it's really weird. Now, is there a possibility that she could have him doing all the responses for her? Absolutely. But I would think at all that if somebody thought these things about my spouse, I would be able to get online and say, hey, no, this is what truly happened. And I, mm -hmm. in defense of my spouse, Mookie got his mother on the phone and then he was asking his mother all of these leading questions and he kept muting her when, the, you know, she wasn't responding the way he wanted her to respond. We were very clear. We were listening. We were like, OK, and then he's going to tell his mother, well, mama, wasn't I sick that time? Well, we're not denying you've never been sick. Been sick. Yes, I, I listen to everything. He's, yeah. Yeah. Because you know, it seemed like this is some this is like a past episode. It don't seem like nothing that have a cure now from what I what I'm hearing from what he, he keeps saying, you know, like, well, we I got a G2, right. I had a blood cloth and, you know, and stuff like that. Not saying that he's not, you know, ill or anything, but at the same, well, he's not ill to the point where he can't get on YouTube and stuff like that. But, you know, well, so. and well, we knew that as soon as Mookie got done with this situation, he would be back live and he would be back making these videos and it just didn't go the way that he had planned it this go round, um, because mm -hmm. we had seen a, we had seen a pattern of behavior from Mookie and we mm -hmm. were trying to get Mookie to stop the pattern of behavior that he was doing. And, mm -hmm. you know, and because we were cash apping Mookie, we were helping him. So, yeah, know. You, know, you know, it's not a situation that we were not helping him and we weren't yeah. helping him. You know, we weren't cash apping him because he was you know, making the videos that we were making it, we, we actually cash out Mookie because we wanted to help him. And we knew the situation that he was in. And we said, okay, well, you know, little by little, we'll help him. There were certain things that Mookie wasn't telling the truth about. 
Um, Mookie's YouTube, Mookie StreamYard account is the free account, but he kept telling people to send him a cash app because I told him he needed to buy some equipment. I never told Mookie that. I never, ever told Mookie that because why would I do that when you're using a free account? Mookie, you don't even pay for your StreamYard. Oh, no, you don't have to pay for StreamYard unless you're going to have what three accounts connected to it or something like that. Uh, well, no, you actually have to pay for StreamYard if you plan on doing things like overlays, um, if you want to have a custom logo in the corner instead of using the StreamYard mm -hmm. logo and things of that nature. And also uh, being able to broadcast on several different platforms all at yeah, the same yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right. I know because I know I haven't paid for this month. That's the reason why I haven't you right. know, streamed from my other platforms like Facebook and and I think Christine um, wants to say something. I don't know if she's behind the scenes because she said, "Can I?" Oh, say you something? can, you can, you can get in the live if you want to. The Streamyard link is at the top. Oh, uh, she, you, you got to scroll up, uh, Christine. I mean, what I, I don't understand. Did she? Can you see it at the top? I pinned it. I pinned the Streamyard link at the top because I get the comments late in Streamyard. <laughs> Let me look at my phone because. The comments come in early on my phone, the YouTube. And I'm not mad at Mookie. I, you know, I tried my best to not get mad at Mookie, but he was making it real hard, um, you know, lying on me. And, you know, mm -hmm. it was just, it's just been really, really bad. But at this point, I know what, I know what. I mean, y'all, I'm going to be honest. You guys did what was right. I'm just saying, I mean, either, you know, his reaction or not, you guys did what was right. He just got to learn how to guard his heart. And, and he got to learn how to really, really, really ask for forgiveness. You know, he said a lot of things and we've yes, just. Yes, he did. Uh, and we're not a even going to. We're not even going to respond to it. We'll just let him go about his business. Yeah, he said a lot. I was listening to go him. Ahead, See, I, wait, sorry. what's she at? You put her up on the screen. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, because I'm like, I got like two phones here. Um, go, go ahead, Christine. I can hear you. Okay. Um, hi, Ms. Hello. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to come on your show. Um, I, uh, you will. I just want to say, um, this whole thing started out early Friday morning. A Friday morning, um, Mookie's um wife texted uh Roxanne and said that he had. Uh, pneumonia and I believe a blood clot on the pneumonia or had pneumonia and something else. So in the the chat that one of the uh, 18 chats that we have, we have a prayer line. And so when everybody got up, I think it was like 11 o'clock, we immediately went into that prayer line. And we started to pray for Mookie. Well, as we're praying for Mookie, because everybody goes into that prayer line and they, they leave a prayer. Well, as we're praying for Mookie, new results, new diseases, do new diagnosis, prognosis kept coming in. So that what drew a red flag to everyone like, okay, let's stop what we're doing and let's find out what is what. Because it, it just seemed unreal. Now, if you ever been to the hospital before, even if you went to the ER, it takes forever and a day to get your blood results of anything. If you just go for a, a boo-boo, it takes like four hours just for them to do a CAT scan or an X-ray to find out if you got to, you know, if there's an injury. But Mookie's results came back like back to back, back to back. So we couldn't even get a prayer through. So... That's where all this stuff and it took off from there in a matter of two to three hours. I just wanted to come and say that um, from the beginning of where it started from. I mm -hmm. want to make I want to make one correction, Christine. Actually, it started mm -hmm. on Thursday night. Well, yeah, Thursday uh, night. Yeah, it was Thursday. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And when he started on Thursday, it went from Thursday all the way until that Sunday. Yeah. Um, he, he claimed that he was in the hospital from that Thursday to that Saturday. Uh, well, really that Sunday, because he said he was on his his daddy said that he, uh, you know, that he was going to go home or that he was going to go home. Um, and 
you know, the part of the problem with this whole situation is Christine, you know, here we are trying to help him and he's evading the help that we could possibly be giving him, you know, and he said a lot of things. I mean, he, I mean, the man has said a lot of things and we've just tried to, you know, stay neutral in this situation, but he's made it a little bit difficult. And right. so uh, I'm, I'm okay. Like I said, he can just go and do his own thing and I'm fine with it. God bless him. Right. Oh, also, I wanted to say another thing about the um, what the doctors um call when we were calling the hospital. Um, when you go to the the hospital or whatever, and you go there and you say you're going to see so and so, and they they'll ask you who are you. When you go to the reception desk, they you tell them who you want to see. They'll tell you if they're there or if they're not there. So. When Mookie's calling all of us now, he he did it simultaneously, calling each one of us individually. So when we called them, when I called them back, um, he was like, "Don't cry." And he told me that the doctor, um, saw him and recognized him from the YouTube video and all this stuff. So how I got um the the the, the nurse never said anything about his health. Because when I tried to call him back, because he said, I tried to call you and I tried to call him back. They, um, the nurse said, well, can you, I said to her, can you give him his phone? No, I said, can you give him the hospital phone? And she said, well, he's been on his phone all day. Right. That, right. Yeah. He had been on his phone since he had gotten there. That's right. what she said. <laughs> she said he's been on his phone um, since he's been there. So there was no health information or anything because it wasn't, we didn't ask. Because I said, well, I didn't want to disturb. He's gotten out of surgery. She just said, well, he's been on his phone all day. That's it. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's all I have, uh, uh, Miss Furlow. Okay, I mean, um, like I said, I just don't appreciate how Mookie is on his uh, lives and stuff, and just talking about you guys. Like it's just crazy. It's just crazy, totally crazy. And I know you guys was trying to help him all that you can. And, you know, and, oh, my God, his heart is just, oh, my God. Well, we wish him well to this, to I, this moment. I, I don't mean, have anything. I don't have any bad feelings toward Bookie at all. God neither, bless you, I mean, Bookie. I'm, I, yeah. Neither do I. Although he said I disrespected his wife, same like Marcellus, I did not disrespect his wife. What I told him was that as a woman to another I'm talking to another man I'm not going to talk about your wife to you I sh so therefore I don't want to hear anything about your wife I'm talking to you about your situation that's going on now if I want to talk to your wife I will talk to your wife I not say um, disrespect his wife at all especially if I'm not talking to your wife there's no reason for me to talk about his wife Right. And the only thing that you were exactly. telling him while you were talking to him, while you were talking to him, you was telling him to stop trying to talk to me about your wife and let's talk about this situation yes. and how and how we're going to move past this situation. And the first only thing that Mookie wants to bring up to you is you disrespect my wife, you disrespect my wife. OK, well, Mookie, if you say that, fine. Let's move past this. Well, why can't you answer the fact of this, these text messages? And why can't you admit to the stuff that you did? Why the only thing that you want to focus in on your wife? You're throwing your wife out here because you think you're, you're going to use your wife as a shield so that you don't have to admit to the wrong that you've done. And that is part of the issue. And I'm OK. Like I said, uh, I think he's going to do whatever he's going to do. Uh, we have not. The only thing, wait a minute. The only thing can, can solve this whole deal. Where is the emergency room paperwork that he's supposed to have? He's supposed to get when he goes to the emergency room. 
Right. And I'll tell you another. Well, how the paperwork is. <laughs> if he really want to pop, I'm just saying, if he really want to <laughs> apologize, he can, you know, show the paperwork. And Luke, I told if him. You listening, mm -hmm. if you want to bring out the truth and bring out facts, bring out the hospital paperwork. I'm just and, saying. And here's the thing with that hospital paperwork. That hospital paperwork needs to express that you was in there, like I said, from Thursday up until Saturday. And like I said, we as a team, we will get together and we will help you with that hospital bill. That's what we said we were going to do. Um, now, what we're not going to do is have you to lie to us and then think you're going to get our money because he was demanding the money. Because the really all of this happened and blew up because Mookie started demanding the money from us. Oh, you guys just gonna send me the oh, money. Oh, I know, I know. Trust me, I know people like that. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, I, I here's the thing. Uh, my tone at this particular point uh is really is not the issue here. Um, my tone is not the issue. What the the issue is is the truth versus a lie. Um, because and, and my tone is the way that it is because I'm very respectful when I go on other people's platforms and I wish other people would learn to do the same when they come to ours, um, you know, because I could say a whole lot of things here, but I'm choosing not to do that. And it has nothing to do with my tone, uh, because to be quite frank with you, I kept the same tone with Mookie for days. Uh, I wasn't upset with Mookie. Mookie actually called me on my phone and I talked to Mookie just like I'm talking today uh, because in my normal life, this is exactly the same tone that I use with everyone. Uh, <laughs> but what I'm not going to do is have you playing games and lying in my face. That's what I'm not going to do. Exactly. Um, and let me just say this. Harlow was disrespectful. Harlow lied. Harlow continues to lie. And Harlow continues to be disrespectful. And that is one of the reasons why Harlow keeps getting dealt with the way Harlow gets dealt with. We fed Harlow. See, you know, it would be one thing if the people on the outside were giving us money to take care of Harlow. It would have been one thing if people on the outside was giving us money to make sure Harlow had something to watch on TV because Harlow didn't have no money, didn't have no cable, and we paid for it. Uh, you know, and we helped Harlow. So it would be one thing. So you, nobody gets to tell me how I deal with Harlow. Um, to me, uh, I look at Harlow completely different than I look uh, Harlow and Andrea. I look completely different than all the rest of these players involved. And if you will notice, if you listen to me carefully, I only deal with Harlow and Andrea really harshly because I have spoken with the two of them. I have had conversations, private conversations with them. Those other people don't know me. Um, so I don't typically waste my time dealing with them or caring anything about them because they don't know me. Now, Harlow, on the other hand, what Harlow did to Daryl, I will never forgive Harlow for what Harlow did because Daryl genuinely cared about Harlow just like Daryl genuinely cared about Mookie. Well, I don't know Harlow, but I just see pictures of her and that's about it. I don't yeah. know anything about her. I know well, somebody in the comments was asking questions or whatever. Was yeah, it's okay. And I just, and I hopefully answered the questions that they had. Um, and, you know, we're the only content creators that even when you don't like us, we invite these people up. Oh, I know I do because the rest of the team be mad at me for doing that. But <laughs> uh, I will invite you up and I will answer any question that you have. Dave, uh, Daryl and I have done it on multiple occasions with people who were adults about it, who disagreed with us. And we had those disagreements and we had civil dialogue and discourse. What I will not do is get on a live with people who just want to beef and yell and cuss and scream and tell me what's mm -hmm. up, my nigga. That is never going to happen. Uh, right. You know, it's just never going to happen. So I just wanted to clear that up. If Mookie hears this live, I wish you well, Mookie. Um, I just think it's unfortunate. Yeah, that we wish you well, Mookie. <laughs> yeah, I wish you well. I I, w I just think it's unfortunate that you've chosen to go this route um, because the people need to learn something, too. That it's more to build a YouTube channel than just getting monetized. That's another thing people don't understand. You have to understand how YouTube works and see until you crack the code and you understand how it works, 
you can build and you're going to be, it's going to take you five years, seven years. And then there are those of us who can come out here within six months and have seven, 10, 18, 19, 20,000 subscribers. And, and our checks go through the roof with a small amount of subscribers because we have learned how to do YouTube. And Believe it or not, my goal was to teach Mookie that. If you listen to Mookie's conversation, Mookie will tell you, well, the only thing Marcellus ever called me about was my YouTube channel. Well, that's true because we had assigned someone to Mookie to deal with him on the other aspects of his channel. We got together as a team and said, okay, this person is responsible for keeping us up to date with Mookie because I'm busy. Daryl's busy. We got stuff going on. And so for him to get in his feelings because we didn't call him every single time one of his family members died, because let's just tell the truth. That's what this really is all about. And from what I understood and what was brought to our attention by another content creator, Mookie's been in his feelings for quite some time about us not calling him because his family members passed away. Uh, and, and I did call Mookie once, uh, but somebody kept dying every week. And I just didn't have that opportunity to call Mookie every single week to tell him about a family member dying. But also, this is YouTube. This isn't church. You know, I'm not responsible exactly. for calling. You know, I'm not for I'm not responsible for calling you every week. This ain't church. You know, I'm not on the I'm not on the deacon board or the elders board and responsible for calling you every time somebody in your family dies. Uh I'm sorry that they died and I sent somebody to, to talk to you and deal with you when those things happen. But I don't understand how he could be so in his feelings about every one of us. And then I say, well, Mookie, you got almost wow. a thousand followers. You can't expect 800 people to call you every week once somebody dies. That's unrealistic. He said, well, the followers and the people were supposed to call him. No, 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 no. No, all they do is say my condolences to your family. You know, sorry for your loss or something like that. If he wants somebody to hit the cash out, then hit the cash out. But just no, no, I ain't gonna be calling you every day. I'm just sorry. Yeah, and so, uh, and I wish you well, um, uh, Miss Furlow. I want you to do well. I want everybody on the internet to oh, do well. Oh, thank you. You know, but I know some people. I know y'all don't believe. I don't. I think some of y'all don't believe that, but I really do. Uh, you know, because if I'm gonna keep it a, if I'm gonna keep it one hundred. I know the last time that you and I had a conversation, uh, I, I kind of felt like you felt a little some type of way because of what I said. But I wanted you to know I didn't have any hard feelings toward you and I wasn't mad at you. I don't I, you said what you said about what I said. And we are both adults. And if you know, and we moved on. But I don't want it. I don't wish anything any bad on you or anybody. Um, you know, I really don't. You know, I was upset at the fact that people didn't treat the situation with Daryl serious, you know, because we were very serious and we were behind the scenes trying to help Daryl navigate his way through this mess. And, you know, I felt like some people weren't taking it serious when we said, hey, we got all these people around here that's thinking that we know they're not for us. We know you not. Mm -hmm. Everybody wasn't for us. And we just like, mm -hmm. well, what's what's the point of coming around here? If you're not for us and you're thinking, I don't know what you're thinking. You're thinking you're just going to hurt us to the point to where we're not going to be able to to work out whatever we need to work out as a team. We're all grown. We're not in our 30s and we ain't even in our mid 40s. So, you know, it's a it's a totally different group of, of grown ups that you're dealing with over here. So it's like, OK, you guys go your way. Do whatever you feel is going to be best for your channel. And. That's kind of how I'm going to leave it, um, you know, and I and I don't wish bad on anybody. Uh, but I know one thing before it's all said and done, a lot of folks is going to be real mad um, because uh, you can't keep stirring the hornet's nest and you cannot keep slandering people and think that there's nothing that's going to meet you in your future. Just so you know. Right. Exactly. So I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate it. Um, no problem. Thank you for having well, me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, uh, uh, what was he? What right say? Just say monkey has YouTube and church. Oh yeah, he do. But okay, I'll figure it to get off. I've been on here one hour. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you so much. Um, Marcellus.
not Monkey Marcellus. I'm gonna say Monkey. Thank you guys. This is um this is my channel, Miss Furlow Speaks, and I just wanted to come out and talk about the situation that is going on. Um I don't like the fact of what's going on with Monkey. And um I, it's, I just couldn't trust someone like that around me because of his heart. He don't know how to guard his heart. Um, and the Bible do speaks about guarding your heart. And uh, no matter what you guys go through, no matter what, you make sure you guys guard your heart. If you go your way, go your way. You know, just go your way. You know, all of that exposing, showing text messages and stuff and you know, all that stuff right there, all it all it's gonna end up doing is hurting you. That's it. At the end of the day, it's hurting you. And the enemy is laughing. And I mean, I I just like, okay, this has to stop. So, like I say, Mookie has been on my channel before. He haven't did anything wrong on my channel. He he always, you know, spoke his truth about his relationship, his wife, and everything. Um and I appreciate him coming on and, you know, talking, chatting. But I don't like his behavior in this situation. It is very evil. And I'm going to say that it is very evil and I don't like it. OK, um, I, 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 could, I can't trust anybody like that, you know, because if you, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I've cashed out from before. You know, it may not be much, but I cashed out from Aptim too, you know, so. Not because, you know, because he's a YouTuber, you know, sometimes I do cash out. It may not be much, but, you know, I cash out a couple of YouTubers on, you know, YouTube or I send in a little, uh, the little, you know, thing on YouTube. I forgot what it is. Um, but I do do what I can do, you know, for some YouTubers, you know. So um, this this situation right here have gotten out of hand and I believe it, you know, I mean, people take YouTube as a joke. Sometimes they want to play, they want to talk, they want to bully people, they want to talk about people on YouTube. But people, you guys, there are some people on YouTube that is not going to play with you on YouTube. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. They're not going to play with you guys. OK, so some people are going to come outside of YouTube and they're not going to sit on YouTube and beef back at you back and forth. And they're not going to do that. They're going to come from out behind the computer behind you know the stream and they're gonna take care of their business so y'all be careful of how what y'all doing on the internet you know especially monkey you gotta stop in your heart the anger the bitterness the pride it's just getting out of hand it's just you over there on ctv channel there's other channels out here they got more subscribers than ctv and knockout media way more subscribers you know, and I'm just saying it take all that just to get subscribers, get some people to like you. That's 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 a Judas. That's a spirit of Judas. And I don't like it. And um, so you guys let me go because I have a I have a little cold here. And my allergies messing with me again. So, OK, you guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like and share, 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 share. And remember the views and opinions and comments expressed in the media or on this channel, those of the speakers or authors does not necessarily reflect or represents this channel. The Council of the Elders met to see how they might rid themselves of Jesus. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot who was one of the 12. Mm. Well, that's the other thing is like, I oh, they kind of put it out. Y'all like y'all were actually, you know, close and I, like this situation hurt them or whatever, but uh, I, don't, I mean, it's not that hard to call somebody. I mean. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. And now they want to mm. call me a liar and say, oh, he lying about his hair problems. Just People like was saying mom. that in this part of the text, they think that Roxanne is talking about Kimberly. Do y'all think that this is who they're talking about? Because we know that according to Mookie and according to the 18 who
blasted Chitterling Chandler for being a liar and deceiving them. Remember when they was real mad at Kim a month or two ago? They had them took her ranch, demoted her fat ass and all, gave her several seats to sit in, and Roxanne, the man, told that bitch, don't you ever in your motherfucking lie. But I know what's going on behind the scenes. So when they told her to leave that shit Ooh, alone, Daryl said he was stepping back from her. But here's I, here's my thing. I'm trying to figure out if y'all say y'all stepping back from her, why would y'all to continue to let her come back if she say she quit? It? Then when then when I got media about it, they really got upset. And I told them knock out media. I said I don't have an issue with this man. I said this man ain't did nothing to me. I said, y'all the one got a fucking issue with your love about Daryl. But that's his platform. He's a grown man. That's his right. So you can't get mad about that shit. So right. next thing you know, they start. Let me go back. Y'all was talking about the latest court. I mean, the last court tripping. Said the last court doc was filed on and y'all was saying how Larry Loyal would attend to this stuff. And she said, Ross saying, I don't care what they say, stay out of it. And she was like, I won't. Now we still going down. And then you said he's stupid. He just asked him. He just asked. Wait a minute. Asked him if he emailed someone. No, cause y'all painted me a bad. Y'all painted. Y'all painted the pictures like I'm real bad. In the message, they were talking about Daryl calling him stupid because he emailed, I think, one of Larry's assistants to try to get him on his side. Someone that Larry knew. Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you do not fall into temptation. Is it with a kiss that 